most patients in the United States have one of two problems. Either they have a virus that affects their heart and they have a cardiomyopathy where the muscle doesn't work as well, or they have a big heart attack that damages the heart and causes scarring of the heart over time. And so those are the two main reasons why patients would require replacement of their heart. In order to be considered for transplantation, most patients have to be part of a comprehensive evaluation team of cardiologists and surgeons and nurses who take care of patients with heart failure. If their disease progresses to the point where we can't fix it with medications alone, then they are evaluated for heart transplantation. And there's lots of criteria, but the reality is that if you're sick enough to need a new heart, then most centers around the country can help you find a way to get a heart transplant uh, by being on the wait list. Uh, it's a comprehensive process. It takes days to weeks to figure it out. And hopefully, uh, once a patient's on the wait list, we can find a good heart for them based upon their blood type, their height, and their weight. And if we get a perfect match, then that's when a transplant can uh, happen.